a stomach-churning criminal charge, and a mysterious disappearance. The final moments of actor-turned-sex offender Mark Salling's life were far from full of glee, and his autopsy report explains why. Mark Salling was best known for his role as Noah Puck Puckerman on the hit TV show Glee. However, late one night in 2018, the actor disappeared from his family's home in Sunland, California after watching TV with his father, per the Mercury News. Salling's family reported the 35-year-old actor missing at around 3 a.m. that night. His body was later found at a nearby riverbed. At the time of his death, Salling was under house arrest on charges of possessing child sex abuse material. He was awaiting sentencing and was expected to serve between four to seven years in prison. According to Salling's autopsy report, the actor's cause of death was asphyxiation due to hanging and that he died by suicide. Authorities discovered a yellow and black nylon rope wrapped around his neck multiple times. The actor showed obvious evidence of death by hanging, with a prominent ligature mark wrapping around the front and sides of his neck, and partially along the back of his neck. The coroner's report also revealed that Salling had scars on both wrists from a prior suicide attempt, per TMZ. The autopsy report noted that he displayed minor petechial hemorrhages around his eyelids. It was also reported that the musician had no drugs in his system, but was legally drunk when he died. The musician and actor grew up in a strict Christian household in California, before moving to Los Angeles to pursue a career in show business. However, Salling had little luck in the entertainment industry until he was cast in Glee. Salling quickly became a household name playing Puck, and he appeared on the show for six seasons between 2009 and 2015. After seven years of, of uh, you know, paying my dues and living hand to mouth in LA, finally something hit. Despite finding success in Hollywood, Salling began to face legal trouble during his time on Glee. In 2013, an ex-girlfriend accused the actor of sexual battery. When the case was settled in 2015, Salling was ordered to pay $2.7 million to his ex, per E! News. Then in December 2015, the Children of the Corn 4 star was arrested in connection with possessing child sex abuse material. In October 2017, Salling pleaded guilty to those charges and struck a plea deal, per People. During their investigation, authorities reportedly found thousands of videos and hundreds of images in Salling's possession depicting child sex abuse material, as reported by People. In his plea deal, the musician would serve up to seven years in prison, register as a sex offender, and pay $50,000 to each abuse victim depicted, among other aspects of his sentencing. However, Salling died before any such payments were made. The actor was also set to face 20 years of supervision following his release from prison, and the terms of that supervision would be decided by the court. After Salling entered the plea deal, his attorney told People, Mark is focused on accepting responsibility and attempting to atone for his conduct. As part of his house arrest, Salling wore an ankle monitor. On the night that he died, the Glee star somehow managed to remove the monitor, which was later found near the family home by Salling's roommate, per Entertainment Tonight. His vehicle was also reported missing. In the time leading up to his death, Salling's behavior is said to have changed. According to People, he reportedly distanced himself from friends and experienced depression issues following his conviction. Approximately 24 hours before his death, Salling was captured on security footage at a nearby convenience store buying cigarettes. Per the Daily Mail, a store in employee said of his interaction with the star, he seemed agitated, not really there. You could tell he was depressed or something. He asked for Marlboro Lights, but didn't say thanks. If you or someone you know may be the victim of child abuse, please contact the Child Help National Child Abuse Hotline at 1-800-4-A-CHILD. That's 1-800-422-4453 or contact their live chat services.